I am going to offer a posting. You always have choice. Choose well. That Selena wrote on her Facebook site recently. You can find it on my blog page. And also on our YouTube channels. Journeys into Enlightenment with Janet Barrett. Many of my Facebook friends comment on my continued positive response to the difficulties that I encounter in my life. The people that have known me a long time and know me well remark on how I've changed over the years and continue to stay in a peaceful state regardless of the many challenges I face. People ask me all the time, how can you continue to see the best in others when the world is falling apart? The reason I continue to see the positive aspects in life is because I choose to. We live in a world of polarity, and for every piece of goodness we experience, there is difficulty we could have chosen. For every bit of chaos that lands in our local or global world, we can still choose to focus our attention on the goodness that exists. We are our attention, and what we put our attention on grows. It's important to see what is around us. It is critical for us to see the full picture of our life, but what we choose to put our attention on in response to what we see is the key to having a peaceful life instead of one of misery. Read that again, please. Read it over and over if you need to. For our next moment comes from our response to chaos, not from the chaos that landed. That's why I make a point of responding from a high frequency. That is, my friends, secret to a peaceful life. How do I know that? I know this from experience. This is how I live. This is what I teach. I have had the opportunity to witness the amazing changes my students have accomplished as we've worked together and they have learned how to create a new lifestyle. One where love, kindness, and appreciation are full frontal. I choose to put my attention on gratitude. I choose to appreciate the good that surrounds me. Everyone has goodness in their life. The wonderful aspects of your life never leave when irritation arises. You simply choose to allow them to recede into the background when trouble shows up. I challenge you the next time you are irritated, a piece of difficulty lands, or you are handling a great tragedy, to find the areas of your life that you are still grateful for and focus on them with deep intention. This is how we heal. This is how we grow. This is how we move more quickly and easily and peacefully through our difficult times. Bring more light into your world where darkness prevails by making the choice to do so. Choice is yours. Choose wisely.